Hello friends, welcome to my channel J Makeover. In this video, I'm going to show you bandhani design. So bandhani design, a checkered design. So here I have drawn a checkbox. I hope you are able to see that. So there is one trick that you can make us very closest one. Okay, like this. But if you are a beginner, it might be a little difficult to get a straight line in one shot okay or there might be difference between the there will be a considerable dis, uh, difference between the gap of the lights so if it is little different it's okay but it should be make it as perfect as possible if you are a beginner it will be little difficult to get a straight line and also um what to say very thick line no problem you can do it on it like this again okay uh, but what some people do is as soon as they draw one side of line what will they do i'll just show what the mistake is as soon as uh, it's okay, I'm not doing for this to show the next trick. As soon as they do the horizontal line, they will start doing this vertical lines or the other side lines. You must not do this. You must wait until this gets dry. Okay, after that only you must draw a line on this. If you try to do, it will create mess. Okay the perfection will not be there so to get the perfect thing you must wait until the one side line gets dry completely and what will i do until then should i just say i will don't have to you can work on the other designs the nearby ones on the side ones you can you can work and uh, should we do the checker design only in a checkbox like a rectangle or triangle or a diamond no not necessarily you can do on this also for an example i'll do here and um mango design okay here also you can do or you can do in this way like cross lines just make sure the gap between the lines are equal and also the lines have the even thickness okay are we going to do only these lines no we can fill in by dot i have like leaving one and filling one leaving one and filling one like that um what you can do is you can fill in like this if the box is too big that is a better option but i really don't recommend because uh, the edges will go unnoticed so you will get the patchy patchy yellow look on the edges so what is the best way to fill in a professional like a professional mahindi artist is like uh, keep it straight in the center of the check and just squeeze it out okay and don't shake it squeeze if it is too big check you can move it around but don't touch the surface keep it little away so that it will be very even it is smallest like this you don't even have to move just keep and squeeze that's all it will get filled in no time keep and squeeze Of course, it will take time to dry. Mm, 
So if we have made checks like this, you where the four lines meet on that edge, you may choose to keep dots on four boxes like this. Okay. That also you can leave one junction and keep on another to avoid mess. Okay. So I just made here and here in between. There is one more junction left. If I keep here, that will create a messy look. So I am leaving the next one and I am keeping this. One, two, three, four. Okay. So this this is a very easy method for filling the checks. Okay, so if you have got something bigger checks like this, you can do a diamond on its lines. Okay. And leave the star and fill in the diamond part. This I recommend to do in bigger checks or you must leave a bigger gaps between the checks even if the center part, center part is smaller. Don't touch the surface with the tip. It will create mess. These are some simplest methods of filling in the chicks on boundary designs. As you fill in the diamonds of the inside star gets highlighted. So this is one of the methods to fill in the checkers. You can also do negative designs to, uh, if you don't know what is negative design check out my previous video ok say I want to highlight person Thank you for watching.